Hi, it's your friend Phil, project management trainer and coach. Today we're going to be talking about earn value. I'm going to show you a way of memorizing the formulas for the CPI, SPI, CV, and SV really quickly. And then I'll throw in how to memorize the variance at completion. So, first of all, think about South Carolina, SC. Think about it twice, SC. Then remember the acronym, someone else's problem. You don't want to get involved in someone else's problem, do you? Then think about kids, children. Children eat a lot or children eat applesauce. Think about that twice. You can also think about September, SEP. And if you put those in that fashion, this is the beginning of you remembering the SPI, CPI, CV, and SV. Now, what you can realize is where you have the S, you've got the same things on the right. So someone else's problem twice, and children eat applesauce twice. Now, think about the specifics. Schedule performance index. Cost performance index. Put the indices together like that, and the variances Put the variances together. When you think about indices, what are you doing? You're dividing. So these are going to be division. When you think about variances, what are you doing? Subtracting. So these will be subtraction. So where you have the E, you need to remember that this is the same all the way down. It's earn value. Earn value is king. And because earn value is king, you see it all the way down. Earn value is king. All right. So all of these are earn value. So we might as well put the V's in there. These are all earn value. The P's are plan value. And the A's, actual cost. The last thing we need to do is put in the division sign because this is an index and where we have indices we divide where we have variances we subtract and there you have it your SPI formula EV divided by PV your CPI formula EV divided by AC your SV formula EV minus PV and your CV formula EV minus AC and if you think about this a little bit more on the far right side, it spells the word P-A-P-A, -A, Papa. Just remember your friend Phil's initials, P-A-P-A. -A. Right there in the middle, earn values King, or E's, and South Carolina on the left. Or SEP, someone else's problem, or children eat applesauce, or whatever you will. Last but not least, we've got the variance at completion formula. People often get the E and the B mixed up. And on the exam, you cannot afford to put your E before your B. Just like in the alphabet, get it? In the alphabet, B comes before E. So don't put your E before the B. Now, one more thing. Remember good old Visual Basic? Were you a VBE? Visual Basic Expert. That will help you recall the order of these letters. It does get quite convoluted, especially in the beginning when you're struggling to remember all these formulas. I hope that helped you. I'll create some additional videos to explain the EACs, the ETC, and the TCPI, which we all love, right? Speak to you then.